that's one of my favorite songs. All right, so there's the actual broken handle. It was like this one, now it's like this, and it was attached over here, attached to here. Clean and half snap. And then this was here. See that's out clean? This was here, this, this is a bootleg apparatus, but I kept it on because it seemed like it was useful, but it was right here. And that broke off and snapped. So let's hey guys, so the crew, I know you guys seen him bits and pieces here and there. You've seen about two or three of us collaborate at a time, but it's been a while since the bulk majority of us kind of got together and did anything, so. We had an opportunity we had somebody request a you know a build from us from the actual crew um up all the way up in tennessee which is a bit you know far from arizona but it's all right on a whim because of how things are going and because you know we're not really sure if we're going to see opportunities again the more things get worse i went and kind of got a trailer that was just big enough to fit my boat inside and i plan on doing things for as long as i can and creating content with that set up for as long as I can until I can't. So the first real trial is going cross country with it. So we're gonna go ahead and load the Yak Killer up. We're gonna drive it across country, all the way to Tennessee, along with all my tools and the fam, and we're going to build a boat. Along with some other things. So that starts the series of the Tin Can Crew Trip for Tennessee. <laughs> The last time I traveled across the country was over a decade ago. I was with my wife with no kids and I was young and we were transferring from one command to another from the East Coast to the West Coast. Now we're just kind of winging it. This is what happens when you wing it. Already I'm having some fails. I had not even, it turns out I didn't uh, know what I was doing when I was uh, trying to strap the boat in. We we're like, I know how to put, you know, stupid tie down straps but really you yeah, really need some serious tie down straps you need them all over the place because <laughs> apparently the boat moves a lot more inside the toy hauler than uh it does just getting towed down the road normally so you know fail there and now i gotta put up with this until i find a walmart or something that sells some sort of decent tie down straps but yep yep the boat was bouncing around in there broke right through the handle that's all right i have another one up top we'll use that one so we're gonna we're gonna have to get through this. It's it's not going so great. Not going it's not going great right now. But we're not even out of Arizona and we broke the boat. There's a we still got like three more states to drive through. Can you believe that handle just broke? I mean that thing was solid aluminum. It was solid aluminum. It just snapped in half like nothing. That is I mean, gotta be the crappiest great aluminum ever. Anyways, we're in New Mexico now. That's kinda pretty. I mean, until you get further into it, and then it's just Nothing. I don't know. We, here we found a rainstorm that never seemed to end. It like was the beginning of a rainstorm that just followed us all the way through the country. Just our luck. Whatever. Diesel is also 10 times more expensive over here on the West Coast than it is on the East. What's going on? We are in New Mexico right now at the truck stop. I feel so small next to all these people. Like you hear their diesel motors and they're like clack, 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 clack. this thing is so quiet. You know, it's it's super quiet. But whatever. Look at all my money just go down the tubes. Ugh. You know what's worse than driving through the rain during the day? Driving through it at night. Through Albuquerque. But whatever. We have a pretty strict time schedule and we're already far behind because I had to stop a million times to make sure the boat wasn't gonna fly out of the trailer. We're trying to make it to the border of Texas, right at Amarillo, and then we'll stop around. We stopped right outside of Texas at a nice quiet truck stop. The great thing about having the trailer was we had our own personal rest area and hotel whenever we needed, plus, you know, food recharge. We had a microwave and a refrigerator and tons of stuff. So we definitely saved in those costs, which is great because we really lost in our behind with diesel and death fluid costs. They were pretty substantial by the end of the trip, but whatever. It was pretty nice. And thank heaven because like half the, like over half, 60% of the rest areas throughout all the states we drove through were closed. Uh, so we had some 
nice few stops here. We stopped in Oklahoma. It's pretty nice here. All right. Just driving straight through, looking like, you know, not great, but I stopped at the Walmart. Walmart's pretty impressive. Got a lot of nice. I wish my Walmart was like this. I like had stuff. This is Walmart's nice. Look at it. Best Walmart I've been into in a while. The heart half inch gun, huh? I wonder how good it is. They don't think it can break lugs, just like a nice little stowaway right in the trailer, you know, for when stuff hits the fan. I wonder, I wonder how good it is. All right, got the stuff. Let's do it. By the way, we stopped and ate at our very first rib crib. How is this chain not nationwide? It was amazing. It was the best food that I had while I was on the road. I mean, eventually we got to Tennessee and there was some better food, but as far as the traveling food, best stop. That was Elk City, Oklahoma. And it was so good, we actually stopped on our way back, but we'll get to that later. For now, it's onward. And the farther east we go, the greener it gets and the more water we see. We are now in Arkansas. And what I will say about it is, out of all the states we drove through, it is definitely the most humid. Like, I thought I knew humidity when I went through Georgia and through other parts of the east, and then I went to Arkansas, and it was, even in the rain, you could feel it. Cool thing though was right after that was Tennessee, and the first thing you get to see is the Pyramid Bass Pro Shops. Pretty epic. Um, the bad thing though is we didn't take the truck stop, which would have taken us directly right there, and we went through the inner city, which apparently is the worst thing you could do because uh, Memphis is like little Chicago, as described by many after I told them that we drove right through there with the RV. And they told us that was really stupid and you should never do that, that you, could, you should avoid Memphis like the plague. They said, I mean, that was a general consensus. So, I mean, just us ignorant tourists driving through. <laughs> Thank heaven nobody mugged us and took our RV in our lives. We made it to the Bass Pro Shops. And uh, definitely was a worthwhile stop, even in the rain and the mug, and uh, driving that big RV through that, like, the city. That was very awkward. We were, like, lucky we pulled that off. So, here we are. That's a striper. Look how big that striper is. That's ridiculous. Oh. See a sturgeon in there? Yeah, there is a. That's a monstrous trout for sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Alligators. Wow. No, they're here in Tennessee. If they're here, that means they're here in Tennessee. Wanted to get a prawn prowler. It's about an eight foot prawn prowler. You gotta record the Minkota motors, you know that. For lithium, only $500. Oh, there's the night end. <laughs> yeah, my shoes are wet for sure now. <laughs> That's right, Tennessee rain, get on. Kind of rolling with your own rest area, heading all the way down there. Stopping early so we could visit the Bass Pro Shops in Memphis, kind of messed up our timeline even more. Plus I bought a bunch of tackle, like a lot, that I later didn't even use. And so that was a waste of money. And so now we, I keep getting calls from the crew because they're already there at the point. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you here? Blah, blah, blah. And the list goes on, so whatever. But what we are enjoying is the scenery. I mean, this is so much better than whatever we saw through like the first three states. I mean, look at these bluffs. They're dope. All right, one 
last stop. And then we'll make it to date. It's taking a minute, but it's all good. It's all good. Remember that video where I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to regret buying this truck and blah, blah, blah. The only thing I regret is not getting a diesel sooner. I mean, what was I doing with my life? Just out there lost in the sauce, driving around stupid cars and small trucks and stupid like little wannabe SUV slash minivan thingies. I mean, geez, imagine what that does to your testosterone levels driving that garbage. This truck could have cared less what brand it was. Diesel trucks run the world, man. Pretty epic it was driving through Tennessee. By far the best scenery to look at while you're driving. Pretty good because the GPS redirected us inadvertently. I didn't even know about it. Put us almost two hours behind our target time frame, which is, you know, whatever. I mean, what can you do? We, uh, we definitely enjoy the scenery though. All right, so some bad things happened the boat flew and did things but overall it's uh, not, nothing broke too terribly bad that we can't fix it but it really is a crap show in here I set it on there for you. Oh, cool. Yeah, nice dent here. Live bolt stain here, but I don't think it's good. Yeah, you know what I think? That's what we're doing. Well, ladies and gents, that was our road trip all the way here to Tennessee. It was, you know, some fails, some wins, but ultimately we all got here safe and we are ready to get down to business and even have a little bit of fun in the midst. This is a workcation. I don't even know if that's going to work, but definitely. Somewhere down the line, we're gonna find out. Stay tuned for the entire series. We got all the crew here. They all showed up for this. All eight, nine, 10 of us, however many there are. We're all gonna show up to put our mark here in Tennessee and build this boat and have some fun in the mix. We were at an awesome location, the PB Lodge, which has garages for bass boats right underneath the rooms you sleep in. So, I mean, it's, it's a patent pending idea that doesn't exist anywhere else. And we're getting to see it firsthand for the entire week. Stay tuned for the entire series. It's coming up next.